Today in our 2016 Mercedes-Benz Sprinter 3500, we're going to be taking a look at and also showing you how to install the DrawType Max Frame Custom Fit Class 3 Trailer Hitch Receiver. This offers the 2 inch by 2 inch receiver tube opening. Its part number is 75549. Here's what our hitch is going to look like installed in the vehicle. As you can see our side plates are going to come down. We'll have our cross tube. It's going to be visible all the way across the rear here from bracket to bracket. In the middle, of course, we've got our two inch by two inch receiver tube opening. And this is a class three hitch. I mean, it's gonna be very, very versatile. You'll see it's got a rounded reinforcement collar around the end of it here. And it's gonna be about three quarters of an inch out past our bumper. I really don't think you'll have any worries about running into it or anything, but it definitely is extended slightly past the end of the vehicle. See our safety chain connection points here. These are nice and large. They're a plate style, so Whatever style chain you're going to be connecting there, again, I don't think you'll have any issue. There has been a small tab welded on right here with three pre-drilled holes. This is designed to aid in mounting a wiring bracket of some type. Although it is tucked pretty close back to the hitch, it might offer us a few clearance challenges there. Now, as far as weight ratings go, we're going to have a 600 pound tongue weight rating. That's the maximum downward force you'll want to put here at the receiver tube opening. We've got a 6,000 pound gross trailer weight rating. That would be the total weight of your trailer and anything that you load up on it. This is rated for weight distribution. If you go into weight distribution setup, the tongue weight rating is going to go up to 750 pounds. The gross trailer weight rating, it goes up to 7,500 pounds. Now, you do want to check the owner's manual on your Sprinter to see what its tow rating is and go off of whichever those numbers are the lowest. Now, a few measurements that will be helpful in selecting your ball mount, bike rack, or hitch cargo carrier will be from the ground to the inside top edge of a receiver tube opening. We've got about 17 and a quarter inches and our hitch pin hole is going to be about even with the outermost edge of our bumper. Now the attachment points we're going to use for the installation are going to be right here at the end of the frame rail. There are going to be four holes that pass through. You may have some tie down hooks on each side. If you do, you're going to want to get those removed. We're going to use an 18 millimeter wrench and socket take those off and you'll take them off on each side if you have them. Now these aren't going to be reinstalled so it's something that we can return to our customer. Now we'll get our hitch raised into position. It's a great idea to have an extra set of hands just to help you guide it up in place. We'll have to do this one, this one, or this one, but whichever one you decide we'll place the bolt from the inside out we're going to use our conical tooth washer there. We just want the teeth to face toward our hitch. And we'll bring them through just like that. Now we can let our hitch rest there and we'll get the rest of them put in place. The only difference will be instead of a conical tooth washer, in this whole location, we're going to be using a lock washer. Now on each of our bolts, we're going to place on one of the round hole spacer blocks. And we'll also thread on one of our hex nuts. Now we need to go through and at each one of our bolts get them tightened down to the appropriate torque specification. Those are listed in your instructions. Now with all of our fasteners torqued down to the appropriate specification, that's going to complete our installation of the Draw Tight Max Frame Custom Fit Class 3 Trailer Hitch Receiver. Part number 75549 on our 2016 Mercedes-Benz Sprinter 35. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.